embodiment? Are we really the Cartesian bodies intuiting the mind? Or are we Psyche? The mind, the spirit, that is the user and master of the body. Now this is quite interesting because it sets us at the onset of a certain very important aim. In the Meiji times of restoration in Japan, the soldiers were trained to believe that the idea of the spirit is stronger than that of body. Yet it was coupled with complete loyalty to the emperor, fanatical even. But what it created was indestructible strength of will. The body could suffer, the body could be destroyed. However, it was the spirit that governed over the body. Therefore, the strength of the spirit helped those people survive the toughest of ordeals. Now, what happens in the cult of the body? If we decide that there is no metaphysics and no souls, then the body that may be sick, ill or beautiful and athletic is the only reference point that we have. What does it lead to, the cult of the body? Inasmuch as it should be harmonious, it is not. It creates weak people and cowards afraid of death. It creates people afraid that there is nothing else after they pass away, clinging on to their lives like slaves. A firm life, yes, find the beauty in it, but there is a completely different framework of comprehension. And I am a prime example of how the strength of the spirit itself could survive mental torment, psychosis, nervous damage, nervous pain and torment. This is how the pain of the body shapes the diamond, the psyche, the spirit. And this is the only way that helps you to survive. The question is that if you take that the psyche rules and masters the body, how to govern the mind and reason in order not to become a fanatic, but a noble, strong man. That is the greatest secret of all, that if you put spirit and souls above the body itself, if it is really incorporated, embodied in your body, not the other way around, then you harness all the strengths and powers of your diamond, of your psyche, of your soul, that you may apply to your living and life's purpose. If you however pick the body itself, which is decaying, falls ill and dies, you will be continuously afraid, continuously at a loss, thinking that these are the last days, you fall ill, you fall sick, your perception, your mind changes and enslaves your mind, but never the diamond, never the psyche. Think about this, because it is very useful to emphasize the metaphysical aspect with psychological rewriting, retranslation, interpretation into the body, that hence you have the strength, you have the force, but you are the master and emperor of your limbs, of your senses, of your mind, of your ministers, of your administration. This is the model of the psyche, diamond and mind and body harmoniously governed like a kingdom, like an empire enclosed within. Tus l'état c'est moi.